Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to migrate Survival Game Kit V2 into another project. I'm going to be using Unreal Engine 5.6, but this process should be the same for all of the Unreal 5 versions. I'll have the older version for Unreal Engine 4 uh, linked below if you're using that. So for this video, you only need to follow it if you need to move Survival Game Kit into a different project. If you're just starting out fresh and uh, you don't have an existing project, um, you can just download Survival Game Kit and start working in that project. If you're following this video in Unreal Engine 5.0, uh, you will need to go to your new project. So I'll jump over to mine. Uh, in your new project, you'll need to make sure that in Plugins, uh, Enhanced, Enhanced Input is ticked on. If yours isn't, you'll need to tick it on and reopen the project. Um, you'll also need to go to Project Settings. And in here, you'll need to go to uh, Input. And after you've restarted the project, um, you'll need to change these two options to the enhanced player input and enhanced input component. Otherwise, uh, your inputs won't work correctly. So once you've done that, uh, you can continue with this video. So to get started, I'm going to migrate my Survival Game Kit folder here. So just right click and hit migrate. Um, it's going to select our files for us. Uh, depending on your engine version, it might select the engine control rig and Niagara folders, you should just be able to untick these because we don't actually need them. We just need the game folder and uh, ticked on, and that should highlight all of the Soil Game Kit uh, files. So then hit OK. Then you want to go to your project. So for me, that's on desktop, then my project, then select content, and then select folder here. Now, this might take a few minutes, so just let it do its thing. So once that's finished, we're going to head over to our new project. And in here, you should see in your content browser, we've got the survival game kit folder. So next, we're going to go to edit, then project settings, and then go to maps and modes. So the first thing we'll set is the default game mode. I'm going to change this to the BP uh, SGK game mode here. It might freeze for a second when you select it, just wait and it will update it. Then we've got our maps. So this is going to be kind of up to you what you want to set these to. I'm just going to be setting the default game map to the main menu because uh, that's the map I want the game to start up on. Uh, so uh, menu map, then editor startup map. You can set it to whatever you like. If you have your own level, uh, you can set that here, or you can set it to the um, showcase level that comes with Soil Game Kit. Then if we drop down to advance, we've got the server default map. Um, so for me, I'm going to set this to showcase. Um, you'll probably want to set this to uh, your own map. Then down here, we've got the game instance class. I'm going to change that to BP SGK game instance. Next, we need to set up our collision channel. So we're going to go to the collision category here. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Um, if you don't have any existing collision channels in your project, you can just import them from the survival game kit project. Um, but this will overwrite any channels you have set up. So don't do that unless um, unless you don't have any. Um, the only other way of doing this is to manually add all of the channels. Um, so uh, I'll show you how to do that. Um, what we'll do is we'll go to our Survival Game Kit project here. I'm just going to move this over to my other screen. And I'm going to go to the project settings, then collision. And we're going to go through and add the object and trace channels. So new object channel, projectile, and select to block, hit accept. Then we're going to add another one. We're going to call this build part and hit accept. Then another new channel, and this is going to be called build grid and hit accept. And then for trace channels, we need one called interaction and that needs to be block. Then another one, uh, this is going to be weapon, then accept. And the last one is grid and then hit accept. Next, we need to add the presets. So we're going to go down to presets and then hit new. Um, if yours isn't open, you can just click it to expand it. So we're going to start with a preset and the first one will be world item. Uh, so world item, make sure you spell the names exactly as I am and um, you get all the settings exactly the same. Otherwise, you may have issues later. I'm going to change this to query only and uh, world dynamic. Then we're going to tick um, for visibility, ignore, camera, ignore. Uh, all of these can stay as they are. Then we're going to set pawn to ignore, physics, body, vehicle, uh, destructible, uh, all to ignore. 
um, and then we can hit accept. Then we're going to create another new one. This will be called dead player capsule. Again, making sure that the name is exactly the same. Um, I'm just going to check that. Uh, we're going to set this to query only, then pawn, and we're going to set we're going to tick the top ignore here. Then we're going to set it to block the world static and world dynamic, and everything else should be ignore. Hit accept. Then add another new one. This will be dead player mesh, and this will be set to query only, like that. And we want it set to pawn as well. Then we're going to tick ignore. And we're going to set it to, um, actually we're going to set it to block, sorry. And then we're going to set it to ignore the pawn, physics, body, vehicle, destructible, and build grid, and hit accept. Then we're going to add uh, the last one, which is build preview. And this one will be set to query only and world dynamic. Then we're going to set it to um, ignore all of them. Then we're going to set it to overlap world stack, dynamic, pawn, physics, body, vehicle, and destructible. And then the other ones will leave as, uh, oh no, build part as well as overlap. And then these two as ignore and then hit accept. So that's all of our presets uh, set up. Next, we're just going to double check that our blueprints collision settings are still set up correctly. Sometimes these can change depending on the order of your trace channels um, and object channels. So we'll start by um, get rid of the search. In the survival game kit, we'll first search for player inventory. Open that up. And uh, I'll bring that over here. And then in these um, class defaults, we're just going to search for trace. And we're going to make sure interacts trace channel is set to interaction, which it is. Um, then we're going to go back to the content browser, search for player building component. Open that up. And in here, we're going to search for, well, we should just be able to find it. So we've got a uh, build part collision type. This should be set to build part. So set that to build part. And this uh, build part collision object type should also be set to build part. Then we're going to head to the content browser again and search for master build part. Open that up. And in here, we're going to select the geometry collection, scroll down and make sure that all of these are set to ignore apart from world static and world dynamic, which should be set to block. Then we're going to open up the begin play collapse node. And here we need to make sure this node is set to the uh, build part. So we will need to change that one to build part. Then we'll compile. And then next we're going to go to the master grid. So we'll just search for master grid, open that up. And we want to go to create grid. And in here, we need to make sure that uh, the set collision object type here is set to the build grid. So change that one. And then over here, we need this to also be set to build grid. So build grid. And then this one should be set to grid. So we'll change that to grid like that. Then compile this. Next, we're going to go to the support component. So we'll just open that up. And in here, we need to make sure that this bottom option sets build part. So mine already is. Uh, then we're going to go um, to the grid component. So we'll search for grid component. Open that up. And in here, we want to go to the attach actor check, make sure this bottom option is set to build part, which mine is. Then we're going to go to the save system. So we'll just open that up. And go to load build parts. So that function here. And we want to find this one. And you can see set collision object channel, this should be set to build part. So set that to build part. Then we're going to go to the plot pole, so we'll just open that up. Uh, the plot pole blueprint here. And we're going to go to update uh, build part owners. And we'll just move these, this, these two nodes down a little bit. This bottom option here should be set to build part. Then we're going to go to the placement, so um, get rid of this search, open up the graphs, then graphs placement. And in here, make sure as well, just move this down. 
make sure this is also set to build part. Then we're going to go back to the uh, player building component. So I've still got my one open here. And we're going to search for select closest floor. Open that up. And then here, right at the beginning, make sure that this is set to build grid. Then the last one is um, the select closest foundation grid. I'm just going to check. Make sure this one is also set to build grid. So that should be all the collision settings set up. Um, I will have linked below um, a guide that goes through all those same settings I just went through as screenshots. So if you want to double check, you can check that out um, and it just takes you through all of those settings as well. So once we finish that, we're just going to uh, save, make sure everything is okay. And I'm just going to open up the showcase level. So I'll we'll just go maps, uh, showcase. And we'll test everything out. So I'll just hit play. And we should see our character spawn in. Uh, I can run over, should be able to pick up items. And our building should work as well. So we'll just double check that. Pick these up. Uh, right click, place. And our snapping's working as well. And we can try the walls quickly. So all of that seems to be working correctly now. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, that's all the steps to getting SGK working in a different project. Um, if you're using your own map and you're running into some collision issues, say for example, you can't pick up items, uh, like for example, when you uh, look at an item, you're not seeing the options show up. That could be something in your level. So if you have um, any large collision boxes or spheres, um, make sure in their collision settings, it's set to ignore the interaction channel um, because if if they don't, they'll block the trace being able to hit items. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And thank you for watching.